Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. We've got the Dead Ahead RC Water Bobber on the block. All right, we're at the park pond. I just put trim tabs on this boat, homemade trim tabs. I actually made an install video how to make trim tabs, but I accidentally deleted it. So we're going to run the trim tabs, all right? Um, this boat's 19 inches long. I just changed the motor out. We put a 2968 4000 kV motor in this boat. I was running a 2958. 3400 kv motor or 3250 something like that i don't freaking know 90 amp fly color uh got 3s in it 30c 3200 and a gps let's freaking get it boys I hadn't ran the boat yet I hadn't ran it yet with these trim tabs man i've been uh meaning to get out here and run the boat just hadn't had the time lately um took a little hiatus a little break from youtube so i'm back i'm back better than ever my last video we just run the blackjack 42 with a tp power 4060 in it 2000 kv on that big ass boat um at the park pond here <laughs> i was doing some testing <laughs> oh boy oh boy um so yeah man let's uh let's see how this thing handles i got my cg pushed forward with a bigger motor um but I got the trim tabs on the boat, so I shouldn't really, I really shouldn't need to push my batteries all the way forward with the trim tabs. Oh man, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to get this thing on the freaking water. Been looking at it for like a week, man. Like a week. I did a whole freaking install. How to make the freaking trim tabs. And I forgot, and it, well, I didn't forget. I deleted the footage. <laughs> Just leave it to B. Leave it to freaking Big B to do some stupid mess like that. All right, so hopefully everything is good to go. Oh, she's got some, she got some power, son. She's got some power, boys. Okay, okay, let's see what she does here. Probably have to adjust the trim tabs. All right, so we got too much down trim. Oh man, actually pretty decent. I'm gonna do a full trigger uh, takeoff before it would like pop a wheelie completely out of the water. Still does, that's okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so I still have to kind of linear throttle, get on it linear throttle. Yeah, I've been working on this boat slowly but surely. Getting her tuned in. What is she doing here? She's not teeter-totting back and forth like she was. But I think I got my trim tabs down too far. So I'm actually just kind of slung my battery back a little bit. Let's see how that does. Because she's wanting to like nose in right on the keel. Oh yeah. Alright. 4,000 kV motor. So it liked it with the CG4. Tuning a new hull like this is different. Different than I'm, different than I'm used to, you know? But the trim tabs are actually doing a lot better. It's not like um, teeter tot, and that's what I was trying to solve. It really didn't need no trim. It just just needed a little a little coaxing to get it running right. You know, I love this hull. I love this hull design. I'm thinking I'm getting about 45 mile an hour at least. We'll check the speed in a second. <laughs> yeah, that full. Tr Full trigger on this 4,000 kV is a bit much for this boat. Let's do a couple laps here. Let's see how she turns with those trim tabs. Turning good like it used to. It always turned good. But, but I think I might put that 3,400 kV back in it. You know, that high RPM, it's uh, wanting to pick the boat up out of the water too much when I give it full trigger. Regular 
regularly scheduled program to bring you guys a real quick mail day. All right, this is from Steve Green out of Florida. Brother, I appreciate it, man. Um, if you guys want to send something to the channel, whether it's something funny, something for the boat, stuff you're not using, new stuff you're trying to promote, YouTube channel you're trying to promote, hit me up in an email. It's uh, in the description of all my videos. Uh, so let's see what Steve sent me. He's got, he said he had some, uh, some goodies laying around that he wasn't using, so uh, he figured he'd send it my way, and I definitely appreciate it. So uh, fancy packaging material. Uh, so Oxide Marine sticker. I like that green. I don't have the green and green one. That's cool. Hell yeah. So my silicone line. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's thin. Thin. And I don't have any of this size. So definitely going to go to use. Thank you very much. Uh, same size cool little line here. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that doesn't have anything in it. That's just packaging material. Oh, wow. There's a lot of little goodies in here. That's freaking cool, man. Nice. What's, what's this? What we got here? Okay, some breakaway. Some plastic or, or, or nylon breakaway screws. Uh, I actually need those, but... Ah. It always had it always M4. Yeah, I needed the M4. It always they always come in handy. Man, thank you very much. Thank you. So we got some uh oh some solder here. Alloy flux 2%. Diameter 0.8 alloy 60/40. That'll come in handy for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Heck yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, well, what's, what is this? Got like a, a little lube here. Let's see what brand it is. Liberty Synthetic Lubricant. Nice. Yep, we'll be using that for sure. Thank you, brother. Okay, uh, looks like we got all. Oh, oh, man. Ooh, that's like some 60 or 70, 74 aluminum or whatnot. Probably got the wrong, numbers all wrong there, but... That's some good looking stuff. I like to make parts, custom parts, and I'm definitely going to put that to use right there. Looks like we got some Pro Boat grease. Now, dude, I can't believe you sent this freaking grease to me because this is probably my favorite grease I've ever used. If this is from the Pro Boat Sonic Weight V2, probably my favorite grease I've used on my boats to date. Seriously, man. And I, I used to like the Pranther grease. Um, I, I've used a lot of greases, and this stuff's really thick, and it's like um, uh, sticky. It's very. St that's some good stuff. Thank you, dude. I, I I wish I could find a whole heaping like jar of this stuff. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Oh, got some stickers here. Um, with numbers on it here. That's cool. That's cool. Some more packing material. We got some uh, stern sticks there. And we got a, a bag of goodies here. Now this right here is the kind of thing, stuff that I, I could actually like use. You know like terminals. You know just little things like this actually helps out a lot. Now we got some more breakaways here. This looks like a 3M breakaway. Uh, let's see what we got here. Get you guys zoomed in. I'm going to dump it all out. Make it a little easier. All right, so we got some more stern sticks. I'm gonna throw those in with the other ones here. Some uh, epoxy throwaway cups. Those definitely come in handy. Uh, oh, that's cool. Oh man, I don't have one at an angle here. That's nice. Oh man, I'll definitely find a use for that. So, so I'm actually thinking. I'm actually thinking with this with this rudder bracket right here on my V2. I can show you guys how much of a difference a longer rudder will make on on your boat okay your v2 rudder is really short and uh i could put this bracket on my v2 modify my my steering linkage there and lower the v2 stock rudder okay down into the water so you'll actually be able to get a left turn uh, i don't know how well it's going to work out if it's something feasible for you guys to do but i know i can make it work and uh you know actually show you guys how how uh how how a deeper set rudder will aid a boat in a left turn so she don't come out the water and lose left turn ability a lot of guys are thinking it's the servo a weak servo cost causing a left turn uh you know a, a crappy left turn on the v2 it's actually the short rudder and i'll show you here in the next few videos or several videos from now very very useful 
Looks like we got some uh, heat shrink here and uh, XT60 to uh, EC3 connector here. Uh, some Dean's plugs, which will come in handy. I actually needed some of those for some uh, connector contraptions I need to get get together. Um, now this, I'm not exactly sure of. It looks like a spacer. This is like a little spacer. I guess you could use it for like uh, extending a rudder off your transom or something like that. Definitely come in handy. Little things like this comes in handy all the time. Building a bunch of XT90s here. All right, some XT30s. Some three or 2.5 probably probably three millimeter bullets definitely can use that i uh, got some extensions oh damn we got some long extensions okay so i've got some like seven inch extensions but i don't have any long ones these will definitely come in handy for something always use an extension you know you use oh we got some short ones too so you use these in like uh for your servo if you needed like a little bit longer cord uh to uh you know maybe run your rxtx in a certain area of your boat you can use these to extend your esc and servo wires these things come in handy man uh, uh yeah yeah that's gonna be used yes sir thank you thank you all right and um got a couple little ball ends here small ball ends i've actually got some stainless steel wire that those will fit on so that's going to be perfect for something we'll figure something out some uh con connector contraptions <laughs> all right um and this looks like a brushless outrunner mounting plate if i had to guess okay so um man i'm excited about this dude thank you man all this little stuff you know this kind of stuff right here is really what adds up when you make an order you know like you got to get an esc you got to get a motor like these little bullets and stuff you know this like you know it's only a couple dollars but when you're uh when you're you know adding five dollars and four dollars and three or four dollars and you know it adds up quick on your order thank you very much man i'm super stoked so um so yeah like i said thank you i don't want to wear out my welcome uh <laughs> back to the regularly scheduled programming <laughs> she still needs forward CG even with the trim tabs. <laughs> Full trigger. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, let's check the old temp here. No water in the boat. Heck yeah. Yeah, so my battery was way back when I slung it. 42 damn i was only getting uh i was only getting 43 or 44 i think it was 44 on 4s with the previous motor so 40 freaking two heck yeah son heck yeah so uh we still got some tuning to do but uh i'm happy i'm happy with the boat man i'm happy with these trim tabs and i really don't even have that much trim on them to be honest with you uh this right one's down a little bit more than the left one you know so she don't do that number there you know what i mean oh man i'm stoked i'm stoked i'm freaking stoked boys 40 freaking two son and uh let's check the temps while we got you here 100 87 come on come on so uh i'll let you guys go i'll get you a little better view of my trim tabs i, I chose to make a long skinny trim tab opposed to a, a a short one you know um man it actually did good man it actually did good so yeah i appreciate you guys watching man 40 freaking two come on i could probably tune it in we'll get some better numbers uh, it's a work in progress slowly but surely just like any other boat it takes time takes time so we'll see you next time big b what are you clear rc don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that good good